ABCD is getting a boost from the city for its work in foreclosure prevention. To tell us about programs offered at ABCD's Mattapan Family Service Center is the program's director, Jasmine Johansson, and from the city's Department of Neighborhood Development, the deputy director of the Boston Home Center, Rob Consalvo. Uh, thank you both very much for being with us. Glad thank to you. be here. I want to start with uh, Jasmine. Talk about the work that you've been doing so far in Mattapan. Sure. So the ABCD Mattapan Family Service Center has been doing foreclosure prevention assistance since 2007. And so since then, we've been able to serve over 800 families in the city of Boston. And really what our work is centered around is helping families make good financial decisions who are likely or facing um, the threat of foreclosure. And we also work with home buyers who are considered at risk, so behind on paying their mortgage payments to make sure that they do not fall victim to um, foreclosure and so since we've been um, providing the service we have a 96 percent success rate in uh, negotiating affordable mortgage payments and also implementing strategies for our home buyers to ensure that they are offering strategies that will help stabilize their home and their families. Brock and Salvo, back, back in 2007, we had all of these homeowners saddled with subprime mortgages and sky-high interest rates. Uh, what about the, the picture now? Well, foreclosure is always an issue, unfortunately, and the city of Boston and Mayor Walsh is committed to making sure that there are resources in place to help families deal with foreclosure, to prevent foreclosure, to get loan modifications, and to stop auctions. Um, the mayor has made housing and home ownership, particularly, as you know, a key to his administration, putting out uh, housing a changing city, the Boston 2030 housing plan. Um, part of that is home ownership, and front and center is home ownership, and in that plan, talks about the Boston Home Center as the vehicle to help people obtain, retain, and maintain their their homes. Uh, the retain portion is where we work with our foreclosure intervention team at the Home Center, uh, our nonprofit partners like ABCD who do an incredible job out in the neighborhoods helping to prevent foreclosure. Um, so we're, we're trying to attack the issue from City Hall, from the Home Center, from our nonprofit partners around the city like ABCD who do such great work. And we're always making sure that we're staying on top of the issues. Uh, not, it's not always subprime loans or predatory lending, but often the economy and job loss and economic conditions and money management and things of that nature help drive foreclosures as well. So um, the recent RFP we put out is really trying to um, address that through sort of a home preservation component um, so that we're working to make sure that we're dealing with a lot of other factors that drive foreclosure and that we're able to educate and counsel people out of that through this home preservation piece. It also means acting as the advocate for homeowners um, through our partners and with our great staff at the Boston Home Center. Our team at the Home Center does an amazing job, a compassionate job, a dedicated job helping people deal with the issue of foreclosure, acting as their advocate with banks and mortgage corporations, stopping auctions and even helping rewrite loans and get loan modifications. So it's something that we take serious. It's something that Mayor Walsh has made a number one priority and we're going to be committed to working in partnership with our community organizations to help stem the tide of foreclosure. I'm talking with Rob Consalvo from the Boston Home Center and Jasmine Johansson from ABCD. Jasmine, talk about the people you, you, you see coming in. Uh, what kind of problems are they saddled with right now? Yeah, so similar to what Rob was saying, it's a lot of shift in terms of economic drivers and wages and so you know, we're in a different time where we're coming out of the subprime lending crisis and really what we're seeing is the affordability piece. People who have been making the same type of income for years and they're facing a significant life crisis. So if there's an illness in the family or if their um, interest rates have now spiked up. So affording that um, piece of the home is what's causing a lot of our clients to come into our doors. Another piece is aging as well. We are seeing an aging population come in where you know they're on fixed incomes and so having them being able to afford their mortgage is becoming a more and more challenge. So hardship and different economic drivers are really what's um, preventing people from having that stabilization in their home um, that they need. And so it is a little bit of a shift. And so the reason why, you know, um, D&D &D, um, is allowing us to expand our scope is because I, I think we all realize that that's a need that's happening. Um, and so for us to really look at the entire household and see what it is that we can provide to offer home preservation and stabilization for that family is, is going to be a real indicator of our success. Um, 
because it's not just the predatory lending that we're seeing now. Rob, well, of course, one of the things the city has to do is keep reminding people, especially people who are older and on fixed income, is that there might be some tax breaks they can take advantage of. That's right. Yeah, there's a lot of great tax breaks uh, that individuals can take advantage of. They sh everyone should make sure that they have the residential exemption. If you're a homeowner and you live in your home in the city, it's a critical piece to reducing your property taxes. Uh, you're allowed another exemption after that. Uh, there's a whole a group of exemptions such as elderly or blind or veterans and you're allowed to take the additional exemption that gives you the greatest benefit. So you can have two exemptions if you, if you, if you qualify and folks should check it out at cityofboston.gov. Um, there's a great program out there as well that uh, Commissioner Shea at the Elderly Commission runs um, which allows senior citizens to volunteer with the city. Uh, and in that capacity, instead of being paid, they would get a reduction in their property taxes. Um, so it's the Senior Citizens Property Tax Work-Off Program, where you, a senior would volunteer at a community center or a library or some other organization and then get a reduction in the property tax. So another avenue, another vehicle that Commissioner Shea and her great team at the Elderly Commission is using to help seniors reduce their property taxes. It also is uh, through the Home Center and through ABCD and other partners around the city helping seniors remain in their homes through home repair. Um, one of the things that we do is we work with seniors on those deferred maintenance issues. Um, many seniors are cash poor but house rich and have uh, years of deferred maintenance. So with ABCD and the Home Center and our uh, home repair program, we'll come in and do windows and he heating systems and roofs and siding, all stuff that's going to allow Boston seniors to age in place. We also help them address emergency issues, mm -hmm. um, issues that come up, things like broken water pipes, frozen pipes, broken sewer laterals, um, broken front steps, things of that nature. So really the city's efforts with our nonprofit partners is the total package to help people stay in their homes mm -hmm. through foreclosure prevention, through home repair, through emergency home repair. And I would be remiss if I didn't also mention that one of the things the Home Center does is an incredible home buying uh, program where we help educate and counsel first time home buyers through seminars and courses and events all around the city, including our Home Buyer 101 class, which is our signature class that helps folks learn the nuts and bolts of home buying, which then allows them to take advantage of our home loan program, which gives um, between three and five percent for down payment and closing costs. So, to help folks get into their homes, we'll actually pay for their down payment and closing costs. We're talking with Rob Consalvo from the Boston Home Center and Jasmine Johansson from ABCD. Jasmine, talk about how your program is going to be expanded expanded now with this help from the city? Yeah, so um, really the work that our counselors do is on the groundwork. So our counselors provide very intensive case management counseling to all of our home uh, homeowners. And so as a part of that, it's connecting them to resources, um, connecting them to places like the home center um, so that they can be afforded different opportunities and resources. Um, but it's also connecting them to programs within ABCD that allow for income maximization um, or lo lower financial burden. So um, one of the programs that we offer at ABCD is our energy and fuel program where we provide fuel assistance, um, which is a financial um, assistance that helps someone um, lower the cost of their monthly heating bills. And so through this service, it allows for homeowners to have access to other plef a plethora of different energy resources that we have. So um, we do weatherization um, in the home where we will come out and look at how we can um, weatherize someone's home. We do energy audits, so we'll look at different appliances and um, energy tests on how someone is using the energy in their home and what are some ways in which we can lower those energy efficiencies. Um, and then another thing that we do is advocacy too, so informing people of their protection, so looking at arrearages and looking at the discount rate that um, may make someone eligible for a lower cost. So a lot of the work is, you know, centered around the same type of um, models that our counselors are already doing around foreclosure, but it's allowing us to expand upon that so that we really are providing a holistic and comprehensive way to make sure that um, these people are being able to sustain and have the security they need to live in their home. Plus, I mean, it must be an enormous advantage if, if, it, if this is something that involves calling a bank repeatedly and keeping Correct. track of things. Correct. A lot of us need help with, with that. We do. And I think, you know, really what it comes down to is we want to provide our home buyers with 
options and we want to make sure that they understand all of their options and what they're getting themselves into and so we work in we work with home buyers to um, talk to their mortgage lenders and make sure that they really understand the complexities and nuances that mortgage documents may have because if someone you know is is not comfortable with the language and is not understanding what they're signing, that can put someone in jeopardy. And so we want to make sure that our counselors are there and available so that they can come and say, you know, I have a question about this. Can you help me? And our counselors are there um, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5, and all our services are free of cost. So if people want more information about what you're offering in Mattapan, what's the best way to do that? Yeah, so you can call us at 617-298-2045. We are located at 535 River Street in Mattapan, and our hours of operation are Monday through Fridays, 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. And Rob, I know you have a lot of things to offer at the Home Center, so if people want to find out more, what's the best way? So they can always go to the city's website, which is cityofboston.gov. The new website. The, the new, new website, website, the new and improved website, which looks really great, which I was uh, on today <laughs> right before I got here. We also have our own website. It's www.bostonhomecenter.com. Um, certainly, you can call us directly at 617-635-HOME, which is 4663, but we have 635-HOME as a way to folks to remember that. Uh, and you can reach us um, during the day, and of course, you can reach any city agency and a live person 24 hours a day by utilizing the mayor's hotline at 311. Thank you both very much. Ralph Consalvo from the Boston Home Center and Jasmine Johansson from ABCD.